guys, I'm Philip Bloom. We're here at Bloom Photography Studios, and this is my lovely wife and usually co-shooter. Today she's going to be my assistant and model, uh, Eileen Bloom. Uh, you'll find that uh, we're kind of redefining sexy, and I, I want to start with just this idea, um, and then we're, we're going to move into showing you just a little bit of how I might pose a senior portrait subject uh, differently than a fashion subject or, or even a wedding day bride. Um, but I want to paint this idea for you. As, as photographers, as artists, um, I, th I think we have to realize that our work goes beyond the photo shoot itself. And ultimately, we're communicators, and we communicate to an audience. Now, when it comes to our senior photography, um, who is that audience, and what are we trying to communicate to them? And a lot of times, the, the tradition through advertising to sell through sex, um, all of that is, is geared toward an audience that would be you know, stimulated by those sorts of things. That's not what we want to achieve uh, when we're photographing uh, our senior subjects. And, and for me, as a father of daughters, I particularly think in terms of girls. Um, so our, our goal is not to make the photo shoot about uh, the beholder, the person on the other side of the photo who, uh, you know, making that image really sexy so that they, um, you know, they're, whatever they're feeling biologically or what culture teaches them to react to that image, um, we don't, that's not what we're trying to achieve. And cultural ideas of beauty change anyway. What we are trying to do, in my opinion, if we're good senior photographers, is to focus on the beheld. Rather than the beholder, focus on the beheld, the subject, the senior girl, for instance, um, and show through that image a certain amount of uh, self-respect of uh, showing her intrinsic value as a human being uh, and that's what we want to communicate. So when we're posing, I just want to give you an idea. Um, oftentimes uh, you'll see in fashion and senior photography um, something that looks like giving power and control to the woman um, by putting her in masculine poses and things like that. Some of those are great. Um, one of those <laughs> that I want to encourage you to avoid because I've seen it a lot lately um, no doubt due to, and I actually won't make you do this on Eileen, it's just, it's too humiliating, but I know you all want to see me do it, so. Um, but you know, you've seen this a lot in uh, music videos and uh, kind of, you know, Miley Cyrus does this when she's uh, twerking, but you'll see a lot of senior portrait photographers now where they're like wanting them to s sit with their legs spread kind of wide, kind of like they're, you know, getting low in the club. Um, I encourage you, if you are going to put your uh, female senior subjects, you know, these are still young ladies, usually minors, in positions like that, at least turn them away from camera to draw that line up a leg, and then you can, they can still look in a powerful, kind of more masculine position, but not just opening everything up like I, I see in a lot of portraits. Upper, lean up against this wall here, and just turn that, uh, turn that shoulder here, and what I want you to do is um, just to create a really nice line, um, keep your toes kind of together. And that knee that comes up, all your weight's on one leg, just turn that knee in front of your other leg, and you're going to create that really nice S-curve. That's great. And I think um, to also bring even more attention up into your face, uh, and I always want to make these portraits about their face, about their personality, um, but of course their body's going to contribute to that. So let's just bring your hand up. You can just fiddle with your necklace. Uh, you don't have to hold it stiff and still. Uh, you can actually just move around and stay relaxed. And let's put this hand just in your hair here, kind of like a shampoo commercial. <laughs> so you can just put it high and then just let it relax down so your elbow's low. That's great. Just let that arm drop a little bit. That's perfect. So I'm able to get my subject in this really nice position. And I'm not talking about, you know, just show off your leg or, or you know, like get in a sexy position. I'm just avoiding those terms that many of you may use in the, in the proper uh, context with certain portrait subjects. And I just want to talk, I just want to look through the lens at her at this point. And, oh wow, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. In fact, let me add a little light, and this light is not actually even hooked up, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll, I'll sort of describe to my client what I'm doing. Let me add this light to just really bring that pop out, that shine in your eyes. Oh man, it's like a galaxy in your eyes there, that's amazing. So I want to compliment my subject, and I want to make her enthusiastic, feel good about the way she looks. Um, but not sexualize that. And in terms of lighting, just recall, I usually, to flatter our subjects, um, older, older adult women, um, usually not as petite as Eileen is, you can 
I'll almost always backlight a subject or short light the subject, which means the light is on the opposite side of the subject from my camera. And I get a nice shadow that flatters and makes people look thinner. Just remember, a lot of these skinnier, senior uh, portrait subjects, you can, you can broad light them, meaning keep that light on the same side of your subject uh, as your camera, and that's actually going to look more flattering to them. Oftentimes we tell ourselves that we want to help senior girls, our subjects, to have self-respect. And to do that, we're going to make them feel beautiful um, and amazing about their physical appearance. And while as photographers we are trying to show the best physical appearance we can, self-respect is really, uh, or self-confidence is really about self-respect. So um, just hope that you'll keep that in mind. As you shoot, create amazing images um, that really speak to class and, uh, and raise up these girls and their confidence. So thanks, keep working hard. If you want more posing tips, uh, you can actually download our posing ebook for free at the photographer's portion of bloomphotography.com. Have a good week.